What's up you two? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. So I've having the spritz and tidy up. I'm giving you a little miller brush up because I'm selling it. Uh, I've, I've done everything that I need to do with the mill for now um, and lockdown's about to end so hopefully I'm going to be getting uh, the great big jobby the Doddy has gifted me which means this needs to get sold. Basically I'm selling it so I can fund the bits and pieces I'm going to need to get the big mill up and running. That's why it's getting sold. Um, to be fair I will be fair about this, as, as honest as I can be. It's worth a couple hundred quid to me just to keep it and use it as a pillar drill. Because it's smaller than that jobby, and I can bolt stuff to the bed more easily. So, you know, all the jigs and stuff I use to make these hangers and stuff, I could just keep it and use it for that. However, you know, it's, it's just going to be a bit of a waste, really. But there you go. So, what am I selling? Well, this is a Draper 34023 vertical milling drilling machine basically. If you have a look in the description, I'll put a link to the specs on it so you can see everything that there is to see. All the marketing blurb and all that stuff. Um, basically I'm selling it with whatever it can with plus a few other bits and pieces. Um, being completely honest about it, it, there is some shortfalls to it that you need to know about before you start go bidding on eBay. Um, first thing is first limitation is just its size basically that's the main problem that i'm running into i need to be doing bigger stuff like yokes and you know jigs for me work and all that sort of stuff and whilst i could do it on this you'd have to do a bit and then move it on the table and clamp it all down dial it all in and then carry on sort of thing it's just a massive pain so that's that's part of the thing this is sold as like a hobbyist you know model maker sort of a precision mill basically that's that's how they market it and i can see why um it's great for doing little bits and pieces and as you see i've done like the you know the levers and you know footrests and all that sort of stuff you know footrest hangers and that for the bike and i've done it on here and you know they've, they've turned out great but anything bigger than that and you are going to start to struggle so that's the first limitation second limitation uh is just the rigidity of the thing this isn't cast, right? The one I'm getting, it's all cast. It's as rigid as it possibly gets. So you do suffer with a little bit of vibration on this. So if you're trying to take really deep cuts and all the rest of it, it ain't gonna like it much. Yeah, you do have to go slow and steady with it. But, you know, I've got this to learn on. And it's been brilliant for that, it really has. It teaches you, you know, all the fixturing and how deep you can go and your speeds and feeds and all that other kind of stuff. Um, and because it's not the biggest thing or the most rigid thing, it lets you know when you're getting near the limit pretty quickly. So in that respect, it's actually quite a good thing. Final thing is um, the backlash in the lead screws. There is quite a bit of it. Uh, originally I started, yeah, I was trying to do it all just manually using the, um, the increments on the, on the feed wheels and stuff and trying to manage backlash was just a nightmare hence I stuck a DRO on it as soon as I did that it was easy to hit dimension so much easier um, that one goes down to 5 micron resolution the cells are down to 1 micron um, but you know 5 microns is as close as I can get with that display um, and as soon as I did that it was just like you know, night and day basically. So it is being sold with the scales for X, Y and Z axis, but you're not getting that bit, because I'm having that and I'm sticking it on my new mill, because I've worked out how to use it now and I quite like it. <laughs> right, this is all the other stuff that it's getting sold with. Um, so in no particular order, um, this is a spare spindle. Uh, runs down a quill, obviously whatever goes in the bottom of that, be it a chuck or a collet holder or anything else. But basically I um, I had to send it back for repair under warranty because I didn't engage the, um, this is like a high speed, low speed um, lever and I hadn't engaged it properly. And there's some little sacrificial gears in the quill 
with you know it, it's basically it's a plastic gear and I threw a tooth on it and when it came back it didn't have the draw bar so I got in touch and said where's my draw bar and they went oh yeah sorry <laughs> and they couldn't find it so rather than um, you know fuss about or anything else they said well there's one in the service manager's machine we'll just send you the whole assembly so they did <laughs> they sent me the whole spindle assembly with the draw bar that went in there which obviously I've stuck back on the machine. But you get a spare spindle. It's got the bearings, it's got the ring nut and everything else on top, caps and collars and whatnot, and the keys. So, you know, it's worth having. Uh, these are some of the tools that came with it. It came with a Jacobs chuck. Um, like I say, it's an MT3, you know, Morse Taper 3. Um, so you get the chuck key that goes with it. This hoofing great spanner is what you can adjust the head with. Basically, the, the milling head will lay over 45 degrees in both directions. So that's the big old spanner that does the nut up on the back so you can adjust it. That is just the locking bar. You stick that in the top of the, um, the head just to lock the spindle so you can, you know, undo stuff and swap out for a collar chuck or whatever else. Cut the spanners for various bits and pieces. Set of Allen keys. Um, and some T-nuts just to fix stuff down. I would recommend getting one of those little sets that I've got because they've got clamps and bars and all sorts of stuff on it. Um, so that's what came with the machine. Then this is the other stuff that I'm throwing in. So this is a machinist vice. Um, how big is it? Where's my rule? Uh, so three inch vice across there. I think it opens I don't know how much it opens, it's about 60 mil, something like that, but it's all machine ground. Um, I tend to keep it shut just because I don't want bits and pieces going in there and chipping it. Um, come on, open up. Keep going. Uh, 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 uh. Right, that's fully open. Um, 68 mil. So there you go. Um, it is really good having a vice that you can just stick on and you know dial in and just have it there, sort of all the time. I mean, you can obviously have this off and fix stuff down to the bed like I've been doing as well. But a vice is a very very handy thing to have, um, and they ain't cheap. The the mill itself, I think, was 800 odd quid. This was like 100 quid worth, just over 100 quid worth. Um, but it's worth having. Um, it just makes all the difference. So that's getting included. And it also came with a swivel base. So this basically bolts on there and there. Um, so you can swivel the whole vice around as well. I've never used this. This has just been sat in a plastic bag covered in oil. Um, like I say, I've never used it, so that's going with it as well. And then this is actually quite a handy piece of kit. I was tempted to keep this and turn it into a rotary weld table. You know, basically stick a motor on here. And that way I can, you know, have a chuck and a bit of tube that I'm welding or whatever and just spin it around and weld it. Um, but to be honest, I've never needed a rotary weld table. Whereas this has been dead handy for doing the um, like the levers on jigs it and a few other bits and pieces for the jigs that I do. Um, it does tilt, goes up to 90 degrees. Um, so, you know, you can put flats in stuff and all that sort of thing. Uh, T-slots on the top, so you can put fixtures on top. It's just a handy bit of kit, and I think it goes down to seconds as well. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I have found it dead handy. That was like well over 100 quid as well. Um, but anything bigger than that, and it won't, it doesn't fit happily on the table, so that's about as big as you could go. But if someone's looking to learn all this stuff, then this is basically the basics. Um, you are going to need to get a collet chuck, because I'm keeping mine, um, something like that, and a set of collets. Um, that's just an MT3 ER32. Um, quite older, but 
But if you're going to actually be using milling bits, you need one of these and, and not just the, um, the Jacob's chuck that sits on it. All right, so that's it. That's everything that's getting sold. So essentially it's the, the mill as it can. So with the, the chuck, um, it's also going to have the scales on it for X, Y, and Z. Um, Kenny Cack, did, I haven't got around to doing it yet, Kenny. He sent me some stuff to make up like a little shield that goes over this scale just to stop anything getting in there. I haven't done it yet. And to be fair, nothing goes in there anyway just because of where it is. Um, because you're a bit spinning that way, so it's it's not going anywhere. Um, but I'll include that as well. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> I'll say he's on my list of things to do. I just haven't had a chance to do it. Yeah, so you get all that lot, plus the spare spindle, the tools that came with it, machinist vice, and a rotary table. All right, that's it. That's everything. Um, it is going to be down as collection only. Yeah, if you ain't too far away, you just come down and have a brew with you know. I'll even help you load it. Or I could bring it to you if you're not too far away. Um, if you are miles away and you end up getting it, then delivery is going to be like a separate thing. I've got a pallet I can stick it on and we can ship it, one of them little jobbies. Um, but that would be outside of whatever it goes for on eBay, basically. We'd, we'd have to sort that out. But I'll happily, you know, bolt it down to a pallet and wrap it up and get it on its way to you. Um, don't really think there's that much more to say. I have tried to be as honest as I can. It's, you know, it is ideal for me to learn it. And you can turn out some really good stuff on it, but it's nowhere near as good as a proper big cast iron thing that weighs an absolute ton. Um, the only trouble with those, they do take up a spare amount of space, and they do weigh an awful lot. Oh, I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna get it here. <laughs> but this is a good introduction. And you know, I think it's got enough of the basics to at least get you going. Stuff that you will need to get as well is um, I've got one of these uh, kits that you can get for all the you know strap cams and stuff. Well handy to have um, a collet chuck and a set of um, end mills. Um, if you get that lot, you know you are pretty much there really. Um, and then, you know, you go as stupid as you want. There's all sorts of stuff you can get for these. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. All the details are in the description. If you're up for it, go and have a look. See, there have been quite a few people asking questions. How much do you want for your mill, this, that and the other? Well, I don't know. I'm rubbish at setting prices on stuff like this. So whatever it goes for on eBay, it goes for. There will be a reserve of 200 quid because it's worth that for me just to keep it and get rid of the pillar drill instead because I know there's a fellow who wants that and he lives next door <laughs> but you know if um, if somebody puts in a bit of more than 200 quid then it will be getting sold um, and that's it really um, I'm trying to think is there anything else I mean if like if anybody has got questions if I haven't covered something um, ask your question in the comments to this video because that way I can go through and I can answer it and that way everybody who's interested can, can see the answer rather than having to send the same answer out time and time and time again. Um, but yeah, I can't think of anything else really to say. That's it. I'm selling me milk. Because I'm getting a great big one. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it at all. Right, there you go. That's it. That's where I'm leaving. Thank you ever so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Layers!